In this video, I'm gonna show you how to repurpose your long form video content into short video clips for social media. Just like I'm doing here on my TikTok account, this is a repurposed video clip that I took from a podcast appearance. I also post these on my YouTube shorts and my Instagram reels, and I even repurpose them into squares for LinkedIn. This is a great way to create a lot of video content from something that you just record maybe once a week or once every other week. And again, a lot of my content comes from being on a podcast, so I don't actually have to even prepare for this content, I just show up to be interviewed and they ask me a bunch of questions, I get recorded and then I break it into clips like this. So I'm gonna show you how to do this using a tool called Descript. You're gonna to wanna to go to Descript.com, you're gonna create an account, you're gonna download this application that I'm using right here and you're gonna see an interface just like this. It won't have all of these videos in here. These are videos that I've already repurposed. Yours is gonna be empty, but it won't be for long. Go ahead and go up to new project. Once you do that, it's gonna allow you to upload a new video. You can just drag and drop it or you can come here to choose a file. You'll pick the video you want to repurpose. And then once you do that, you're gonna see something very similar to this. You're going to see the transcript on the left and the video on the right. And what's really cool about this is that it really lets you edit a video like it's a Word document. And you'll probably wanna do this as quickly as you can after the recording, just so you have some memory of the conversation so that this process is easier. But they make it as easy as possible by really just skimming the text on the left left and then picking the clips that you want to use. And to pick a clip, all you have to do is select it. And then you just do right click, duplicate to new composition. And down here, it's going to say, do you want to open that composition? If I click that, you're going to see that I have that clip that I can just edit separate from that original copy. And now I can make a clip from that. So typically my process is to go through the entire interview and to pull chunks like this of potential clips, making them into new compositions and going through the entire interview, pulling all of those those out. And then once I've done that, then going back into each individual clip and editing it down to a final video, adding the captions, you know, pulling out the pieces that are a little distracting or where I'm saying ums and ahs, the filler words, that kind of thing. That's the process I go through. And it seems to be the most efficient way that I've been able to come up with is pulling the clips. And then once I've done that, actually going through and editing the clips. So for this example, I'm going to use a podcast appearance that I was on. There was a point where I was talking about how everyone wants to get clients or business with video, but really the power of it is having people share your content because that's how you can really build a scalable engine. So here's a clip where I was talking. What I like to do is usually take a paragraph before and a paragraph after because I don't always know what I'm going to use and what order I'm going to use it. I was going to take something around here, but I'm just going to take a little bit more so that I can have a little bit more to work with in case I need it. Go ahead and I will duplicate to new composition, like I said before, and then I'll go ahead and open up that composition and then I can get to work. So typically what I'm going to have to do is listen to this whole paragraph to really understand what I was talking about, what's the context, and then really start to think about what is valuable to the audience and what do they want to hear about and what would make a good hook for the content. Sometimes when you're like, I know that in this particular example, I was talking about Kajabi, it misspelled it, it's with a K. Sometimes when you're using other brands as a hook, that could be a good way to open up the conversation, but we can kind of play around with it. So in the beginning here, it's like, we're talking about what am I passionate about? People People do also want to articulate themselves. So I'm going to delete this here. I'm just going to really just start to work through this. I don't know exactly how this is going to come out. How can you articulate something? So people do worry about that. So that might be a great way to start the video. Articulate something to really help somebody so that when you post that video, you feel like it's going to make somebody say like, wow, I'm glad I saw that. Because that's what you want, right? When somebody sees your video, you want them to walk away and be like, wow, I'm so glad that I saw that video. I'm going to go show my friend this video because that's really important. So that's actually a pretty good clip there. The goal should be that people are sharing your stuff because the, the, most of the time people want what I, what I find is most people say, Hey, I want to post a video and get new business. So here I'm talking about how you want to be able to articulate yourself. You want people to share it because most of the time people are kind of short sighted in the fact that they just want to post a video and get new business. They want that transactional relationship, which I think we all want that. But the point of this video is just that there's a much more scalable part of this video thing where people are actually sharing your videos into other Facebook groups or other groups, communities, which really builds a lot of trust. And that's what I also said down here. So what I'm going to try to do is engineer this and cut out as much fluff as possible so that I just get straight to the point, right? So I'm glad I saw this video. I'm going to share this with my friends. And then you can start to edit this out a little bit. The goal should be that people are sharing your stuff. What I find is most people say, hey, I want to post a video and get new business. 
And that's, that's, I want that too, that will happen, but that's not necessarily scalable until you are more known, right? But what's very scalable is when people are sharing your stuff to other groups and to other people, that becomes very scalable. Yeah, so I might be able to just, and I'll correct this, it's Kajabi. So you can really see like you have a lot of flexibility really just to re-engineer the clip completely. So what this is going to turn out to be is, but what's very scalable is when people are sharing your stuff to other groups and to other people. Like I had Kajabi, the course creator platform. They reached out to me on LinkedIn and they were like, hey, we saw somebody posted one of your TikToks into our Facebook group. And I'm like, wow, that's really neat. I mean, that's that. think of how much more credible that video is being posted into some group by someone other than me. So that might actually be a good spot to end it too, right? It's like a good edit, right? Cause like the, the goal here is like your opener is really impactful. It's gonna keep somebody to watch it. And then you want it to end like on this kind of like high note. That's what I'm trying to do here other than me. Group by someone other than me. And then I can just do some little corrections here. How can you articulate something to really help somebody so that when you post that video, you feel like, it's gonna make somebody's, and then I can start to do some editing of this video and start to kind of clean it up a little bit. I'll bring this in kind of to the end here and I can control how much I can see pretty easily as well of the full video. Cause basically what I'm gonna end up doing here is trimming this down, pulling out everything that isn't needed so that you have one really tight clip. So let's see if there's any fluff in here that we can remove. How can you articulate something to really help somebody so that when you post that video, you feel like it's gonna make somebody say like, wow, I'm glad I saw that because that's what you want, right? When somebody sees your video, you want them to walk away and be like, wow, I'm so glad that I saw that video. I'm going to go show my friend this video. The goal should be that people are sharing your stuff. So the goal should be that people are sharing your stuff. What I find, and then I can say most people, most people say, hey, I want to post a video and get new business. And that's, that's I want that too. That so I'm gonna just going to start to do some more of this. I want that too, that will happen, but it's not necessarily scalable until you're well, well known. I want that too, that will happen, but that's not necessarily scalable until you, and you don't even need necessarily. So I can just start to really start to chop away stuff here. I'm going to go show my friend this video. So, and then you can see that it's going to start tweaking this. Now there's some space here that we can pull away. I'm going to go show my friend this video. The goal should be that people are sharing your stuff. I could even just be like, well, it's kind of, you got to use your judgment. So post a video and get new business. So we can just start to clean this up. I want that too, that will happen, but that's not scale. We'll just keep taking out all the little blocks. That's not scalable until you are more known. And again, you can really pull this together and just pull out all the little gaps and I'll do a fine tuned one near the end. But what's very scalable is when people are sharing your stuff to other groups and to other people. Like I had, and I could just, start to correct this like I had and I could take out like I had Kajabi uh, sometimes you'll find that when you do something like that it can make it sound bad so I'll leave that in there like I had Kajabi the course creator platform they reached out to me on I can just tighten that up a little bit on LinkedIn and they were like hey we saw somebody posted one of your TikToks into our and they were like I could probably just take that out somebody posted one of your TikToks into our Facebook group and then I'll refix this because these these transcription is going to become it's going to become the the captions. You'll see that talks into our Facebook group. And I'm like, wow, that's really neat. I mean, that's that think of how much more credible. So I'm just going to even just erase some of that stuff. So it's going to be like, think of how much more. Sometimes you got to be real careful with how you do it. But well, wow, that's really neat. And then I'll just do this. I'll say think neat. Think of how much more credible that video is being posted into some group by someone other than me. So I think this clip is actually starting to be a lot better and just tight. So how can you articulate something to really help somebody so that when you post that video, you feel like it's gonna make somebody say like, so here's another spot, we can tighten it up. Like it's gonna make somebody say like, wow, I'm glad I saw that. Cause that's what you want, right? When somebody sees your video, you want them to walk away and be like, wow, I'm so glad that I saw that video. I'm gonna go show my friend this video. The goal should be that people are sharing your stuff. Most people say, hey, 
I want to post a video. So I'm kind of reiterating myself a little bit there. I'll come down and see if I can fine tune it a little bit. Your stuff. Most people say, hey, I want to post a video and get new business. I want that too. That will happen. But that's not scalable until you are more known. But what's very scalable is when people are sharing your stuff to other groups and to other people. I'm going to continue to just keep tightening it up. Looks like I can do that here as well. Like I had Kajabi, the course creator platform. They reached out to me on LinkedIn and they were like, somebody posted one of your TikToks into our Facebook group. And I'm like, wow, that's really neat. Think of how much more credible that video is being posted into some group by someone other than me. So that's pretty good in a lot of ways. I, I feel like I could tweak this. I feel like when I look at this clip, I almost feel like I could make a couple of different versions of it and just to see, like it kind of starts off a little slow. How can you articulate something to really help somebody? So that might be a spot here a little bit where I can tighten that up a little bit, articulate something to really help somebody so that when you post that video, you, you could probably get in here a little bit more because you do want it. Like if you think about social media, people scroll away really quick to really help somebody so that when you post that video, you feel like it's going to make somebody say like, wow, I'm glad I saw that because that's what you want, right? When somebody sees your video, it might seem a little unnatural, but you have to make your videos tight or people will scroll away. I'm glad I saw that because that's what you want, right? When somebody sees your video, you want them to walk away and be like, wow, I'm so glad that I saw that video. I'm going to go show my friend this video. The goal should be that people are sharing your stuff. Most people say, hey, I want to post a video and get new business. I want that too. That will happen. But that's not scalable until you are more known. But what's very scalable is when people are sharing your stuff to other groups and to other people. Like I had Kajabi, the course creator platform. They reached out to me on LinkedIn and they were like, somebody posted one of your TikToks into our Facebook group. And I'm like, wow, that's really neat. Think of how much more credible that video is being posted into some group by someone other than me. So there you go. I think that's a pretty good clip. We could nitpick different aspects of it, the hook, and it's worth playing around with the different versions. And what's neat about this is that you could just select this whole thing and just make another version of it, duplicate new version. And so if I thought something else might be interesting or like there was a better opening hook, I could just do that. I could just try it out. Instead of obsessing about one clip and spending too much time on it, I could just make a couple different ones from it. But once you have this, you're in really good shape. And so there's this concept that they have called templates and we've already created these. But what's really neat here is that I can can come up to the template section here and I can just go to my SGP templates and then I can pick one of these templates here and you can see it's already added a title and the captions and it's pulling those captions from the transcript on the left which I already edited. So that's pretty nice because it's already there and then in this case if I had a title better video I could update that. And now you can see what a finished product looks like. Go show my friend this video. The goal should be that people are sharing your stuff. Most people say, hey, I want to post a video and get new business. I want that too. That will happen. But that's not... And then what's cool is like if I want to make this into a square for LinkedIn, I can just click this and it's going to turn it into a square. And then all I have to do is change this orientation there. And now it's ready for LinkedIn. I can just update the title. And now I've got this video for LinkedIn. Scalable until you are more known. But what's very scalable is when people are sharing your stuff to other groups and to other. So there you can really see the power of Descript, picking clips, editing them down to a final version. Once I finalize the video and I'm ready, I can always come up to publish, export, and I can literally just export this as a video file. I can export the square version, the vertical version, and then I have all of that ready for social media. And so I hope you see the power in using a tool like Descript to take that long form video and turn it into a bunch of different clips for social media. You have a whole lot of options. You can make different variations and then very quickly you can add the captions, titles, and then reformat it into multiple sizes for social media for the different platforms like LinkedIn that want a square and TikTok that wants a vertical video. So you have a lot of power here to create a lot of content without having to actually create a lot of content. So I hope you found that video valuable. Make sure to check out the next video. I go in depth on how you can build out your own content team so that you can just focus on creating the content instead of having to get into the script and cut out clips and edit those clips and make different versions of it. Check out the video. I talk about how to build out your content team just like I did. I will see you there.